As you can see, your boy is tatted up. I have a full sleeve. I have a couple tattoos under my shirt. I love tattoos. This is something that I just fell in love with. I think I might've got addicted to it at some point. I always get questions about the tattoos. I get questions about, did they hurt? How much did you pay for them? How long did it take for you to get them? In this video, I wanna talk about the do's and don'ts about getting tattoos. When it comes to getting tattoos, you wanna do it correctly. And you wanna make sure that you're not getting them in the incorrect places. You're not wasting your money and you're also maximizing the look that you're going for. There's always those scrubs that pay for tattoos. They don't have enough money to buy those tattoos. They get cheap quality tattoos. They get them in the incorrect places. They look deformed. They ruin potential opportunities going forward in their future with their careers because they get them maybe in their hands or in their face or their head. That's why it's very important to get tattoos correctly. You wanna get them in the correct places. You want to invest the correct amount of capital and you also want to make sure that you are getting them for the correct reasons. Tattoos, for me, are a very powerful statement of who you are. They're addicting because once you get one, you want to get another one. Some of the biggest things that I've noticed from getting tattoos is that they make you look more masculine. They increase your sex appeal, meaning that as a guy, women are just naturally more attracted to you or they pay more attention to you because you have tattoos. And the last thing is that they highlight your personal evolution. At least for me, all of my tattoos have symbolized something important in my life. They symbolized evolutions that I've gone through, either with pain or happiness. They all have a story. So I got my notes here just to make sure that I'm not missing anything. But the first thing that I wrote here is to not get tattoos if you're broke. If you have less than a thousand, five thousand dollars in your bank account, the last thing that you need is a tattoo. You need to get back into making more money, focus on your education, invest that money that you're going to invest into a tattoo into your education. Level up your skills, make more money, and then in the future, come back and get a tattoo if you can. I didn't get my first tattoo until I was like 25, 26. And that was right after my dad passed away. But at that point, I had a good amount of capital saved in the bank. I feel confident that if I got a tattoo, I'll be okay. So don't get a tattoo if you're broke, if you're if you're not making ends meet, if you're struggling financially, you're not ready for a tattoo. You need to level up your skills first, make more money, level up your career, and then after that, you can invest into getting a tattoo. The second thing is that you need to have a strong reason for getting the tattoo. It has to have significance because it's going to be a part of you for the rest of your life. And tattoos are not cheap. High quality tattoos are not cheap. So you wanna get something that has a lot of meaning to you. My first tattoo, I think I spent like $600 on this one. I got it in Mexico. But like I said, this tattoo was very important for me because when I was around 25, my dad passed away. I was in a very vulnerable spot, very depressed. And this tattoo just reminds me of who I am in my core. And it reminds me to always have courage, always have strength. I always take charge of life and never be afraid of the next obstacle. And it just gave me a, lot, a source of power after my dad passed away. So all of these tattoos have meaning to them. They have significance. And that's the same thing that I recommend when you're getting your tattoo is that they have to have significance. They have to have a, a, a strong why. If somebody asks you about it, you actually have a, a great story that you can tell from your tattoo. You're not just some random bullshit about how you got drunk and you spent 20 bucks on a lame tattoo. You want to actually have a deep story behind it. And you don't have to share your story to anyone that asks you about it, but you know for yourself that it has a strong meaning. And that's the reason why you have it tatted on your body. The next don't is to try to avoid getting tattoos in locations that may reduce your financial and career opportunities. If you notice, I don't have any tattoos on my hands. I don't have any tattoos on my face, head, or my neck. The reason for that is because I know that if I wear a suit, a collar shirt, I can hide my tattoos if necessary. And I don't care who you are, unless you have fuck you money where you don't care, you're, you're an artist, you're a rapper, and you have millions of dollars in the bank. I truly believe that it's a liability for you to tattoo your face or your hands or any place that's visible wearing a suit because it would dramatically reduce your opportunities. We're very visual, people judge. They will judge you whenever you have tattoos in your hands, in your face, your neck. Stick to your arms, stick to your chest, to your body. You always wanna keep a professional image. That's what we're all about in this channel. Keeping a professional image, but you can also have that rough, rugged look if you need to. So just be careful about these locations because they can ruin your chances going forward in your career. The next thing we have is be aware that it takes time to heal from a tattoo. You have to take care of the tattoo. It takes around three weeks to a month for it to fully recover. So it takes you away from training. I think that's probably one of the things that I hate about getting tattoos is that I can't really hit the gym as hard as I would like to after getting my tattoos. So if you're training for MMA, any competition, be aware that it's going to be recommended for you not to go to the gym and 
potentially contaminate or affect your tattoo. Be conscious of that. Be conscious of the time that's going to take for you to recover. And it doesn't negatively affect your performance. I remember I was training for a jiu-jitsu tournament and then I got my tattoo and I had to take it easy. And I think that that limited my performance for that jiu-jitsu competition. So if you're a combat athlete, just keep that in consideration. Next thing is to not get a tattoo for other people. Get it for you. Some byproducts of getting your tattoo is that girls will be more attracted to it. You're going to look tougher. It's just a badass statement, man. Like getting tattoos just look badass. But at the end of the day, you're the person that's going to see your tattoos when you're naked, when you're by yourself, when you're in the mirror, when you're in the shower, you're going to be that person that's going to actually see your tattoos. So get tattoos that are important to you. As a byproduct, these other things might happen, but the most important thing is that you're happy with them, that you got something that's of high quality, that's important to you, and that's all that matters. And then finally, take your time when getting your tattoo. Don't rush into getting tattoos. Don't get an artist that you're not familiar with their work. You want to actually do your research, look for an artist that you like, look for an artist that has high quality work and the type of art that you're interested in. And also don't go cheap. When it comes to tattoos, you actually want to pay for quality because remember, this art is going to be on your body for the rest of your life. So you want to make sure that you're investing into your tattoos, finding somebody that does great quality work and the type of art that you like. So take your time, research different artists, reach out to them and make sure that you get an artist that is of high quality and don't go cheap. Don't try to low ball them, invest in quality. So don't be that cheap motherfucker that's just trying to pay like 20, 30 bucks for a high quality tattoo. It's not gonna happen. Whenever I go to my tattoo artist, I pay him at least 10, 15% more than he asked for. Because I tell him that I want quality. I want him to actually do his best when he's doing my tattoos. So that's the same mindset that you wanna have. You wanna go for quality or for quantity? Don't just get a lot of tattoos, but they're, they're trash. Like the quality of the art is not the best. Go for quality and I promise you, you're just gonna have a way better experience with your tattoos for the rest of your life. You can't just take off a tattoo. This is for life. And there you have it guys. These are the do's and don'ts of getting tattoos. Let me know if you have any questions, drop them down in the comments. If you made this far into the video, make sure to give us a like. Also hit that subscribe button. I'll catch you all in the next video. Stay strong, stay relentless, and keep on conquering. You got this. Peace.